Hello, this evening's meal is going to be of red meat. Now we eat very, very little red meat, but sometimes it's quite a nice for a treat. And this is an, a, a dish that only takes a little amount of red meat. In fact, for two of us, it's only six ounces of steak. So I bought a steak from Tesco's and I cut it in half, I'm going to put half in the freezer and you just need a, a small amount. So if there's just you on your own, you only need to buy a very small piece of steak, but it does need to be good steak, you can't buy stewing steak, because you're going to um, cook it in a wok. So that's the first thing, is take a piece of steak and cut it into very thin strips. So I'm going to do that now, because you don't need to watch me, but I'll show you when it's done. So in a bowl, or a, a dish of some sort, you need to put your corn flour, your soy sauce and your Chinese five spice powder, one of my ingredients here, I don't know if you can see them all, and then you put your steak, which I've cut into thin strips, and you put all your steak in there, and you leave it to marinate for 20 minutes. Okay, so you put all of that in there, and it, it doesn't look very much, but when you put it with all your other um, with, with all the rest of this, it's, it is delicious, lovely recipe. Now, you must make sure that when you cut your steak up, you cut off every little bit of fat or sinew or whatever's on it, um, because none of it will cook down because you're going to cook it very quickly. So you must make sure that there's nothing left on it, which, um, which you would expect in a casserole or something to cook down. If you're making this just for one, it is very difficult to do a sixteenth of a teaspoonful of the uh, Chinese five spice. I realise that. I think just a good pinch will do, because an eighth of a teaspoonful, which I can measure in my um, handy measuring uh, spoon, is, is really a very small amount, so just a good pinch will do. It's very annoying, of course, when you buy these big jars of things and you use a pinch once in the blue moon, but unfortunately, that's how they come. Although there is a shop opened on... Um, the embankment in Wellingborough that does loose things that you can take your own things and fill up. So presumably you could go and buy, I don't know how little amount you could go. I keep meaning to try it out, but due to lockdown, I haven't made it. Now, while that's marinating for 20 minutes, which I should have set a time for, while that's marinating for 20 minutes, you can prepare everything else. 20 minutes. Now, for your broccoli, you don't want to cut it without any stalk. So you're going to take the florets off. You want six ounces of broccoli. You're going to take the florets off, but you are going to use the stalk as well. I love broccoli and eat the stalk. So you want six ounces of broccoli. And if I get my these scales, I really can measure it here. Six ounces of broccoli for two, so only three ounces for you. I'm sorry, I'm doing it in ounces. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact. I'm just trying to give you a, a visual of what it looks like. That's four. Do you know, I'm just going to check that because I don't know if that's for the whole amount. Yes, it is. I'm so sorry. We only want three ounces of broccoli. I do apologise. I thought it looked a lot. So you want three ounces of broccoli, but it doesn't have to be exact. It doesn't matter if it's not. So when you get that off, you still cut your stalks into little ovals. Can you see how I'm doing that? Just make little ovals out of the stalk, and they're going to go in as well. Stop if it gets a bit too woody. Then you cut your florets up quite small. So you've got little florets like that. feel a bit woody, stop cutting is the answer. So again, cut your florets off. And then we do the same with our spring onions. You want half a bunch of spring onions.
and again you cut those into little over slices. You can pause the video because I don't want to chop an onion, doesn't need to see me doing it. I don't think it's a bit boring. Okay, so my uh, I've got five more minutes of my, my um, marinade going to go, so I've still got that there. You serve this with fragrant rice. I use uh, Tilda jasmine rice because you pop it in the microwave and it's easy peasy, which is what life's all about. Now, I've chopped up my ginger. I've got more than I need there, but the rest will go in the freezer because I'll make this again with the other half of the piece of steak that I've put in the freezer. I've chopped up my onions. Can you see all of these properly? And I've sliced my red pepper nice and thinly. So it's all there ready to go in. Uh, my garlic, is in a tube, so I haven't squeezed or chopped that, it's in a tube. Now the first thing you do is you cook the steak and the ginger and the garlic together in a wok. Now I'm not using, I have a lovely wok, a lovely big non-stick wok, but this is a small amount and it seems a bit of a shame to use my wok. So I'm going to use just a frying pan. You need, however, a frying pan with a lid, because if you've read ahead of the recipe, you'll know that you're going to steam it at the end, so you, need, you must have a lid. Uh, my wok has a lid as well, uh, but it's just a bit too big really for what we're doing this and that. So I'm going to put that ready, and I'm going to put my tablespoon, or I'm going to have my camera move around, or the camera crew are working well today. <laughs> it's moving me around. So I'm going to have a tablespoon of sesame oil. I've got Tesco's um, sesame oil. If you can get toasted sesame oil, so much better, this just says sesame oil. And I'm going to put a tablespoon of sesame oil in there. And we're going to wait for my last five minutes um, before I can cook it. So if you'd like to pause me again. One thing I was going to say is if there's anything in this that you particularly like or particularly dislike, you can always change it. So you can add a bit more ginger, cut out some, some of the salad onions. You can really adapt it to however you want. You could put carrots very, very finely uh, match-sticked into it if you wanted to. I mean, you could do all of this and leave the beef out if you're a vegetarian. Um, I'm sure you could do it with prawns, actually, as well. So I think it's a very adaptable recipe. Oh, sorry, that looks good. So I've got my ginger and my garlic in here, which is just heating up. I'm waiting for that. I'll put those in first. The timer's got to go off for my steak. Um, and I've put, I will show you, the rest of my ginger in a little pot, which I'm going to freeze with. There's a lump of it as well, which I can um, grate or chop later. That's going to go in the freezer, uh, ready for the next time I do this dish, or indeed I do another dish, but I will probably do this again. I put a bit more ginger than they say, because I really love ginger. <laughs> um, so I put a bit more, and I might even add a bit more, yeah, actually. I've used half a tablespoonful, but I think I could probably manage a tablespoonful. I'm not sure if my time is, oh, it's not quite, it's got about a minute to go. So we'll just uh, let this start. The smell of sesame oil is really lovely, and that's the one ingredient that you can't miss. Um, it's no good using a different sort of oil. The sesame oil adds the, the final Chinesey bite to it. It is, in fact, uh, my daughter in law is cooking the children Chinese food tonight for Chinese New Year, which they've been learning about in school apparently this week. Um, I don't know when you're going to see this video, so it might not be very appropriate for Chinese New Year by the time you actually get to watch it. So that really depends. I'm going to, I've got about half a minute to go, so I'm going to pop it in. There's the steak in there, and immediately you can hear the sizzle. We're going to cook this for three minutes, and I'm going to time this on my oven because it's cooked up. And so you cook this for three minutes and you need to stir it and keep it moving because you want to get the steak sealed. So I've got it on high. Oh, that's why you can hear it sizzling away. Absolutely wonderful. So I think you can probably pause that one. I don't think you want to watch me doing this for three minutes. So my meat is, is beautifully brown, it's kind of a lovely colour. I'm going to add the vegetables now. I'm going to cook those, get them all in. I'm going to cook it now for two minutes. So that's all I want. 
just going to make that two minutes for that. I'm going to put my ingredients away. That can be touch. Put my ingredients away. Now, when this is done one minute, the next step is one minute. So, when this is done one minute, I'm going to put my rice, which takes two minutes. So, it will be ready at the same time. Now, we can use Chinese. So, we're going to go to one minute. In the microwave, I mean, it really is as simple as that. I've got plates in the oven, the lines are forced out. So it's nice to serve this in a bowl, which would be quite a nice way of doing it, like a pasta bowl, or a plate, it's entirely up to you. I've got plates out, so I normally serve it in a bowl. That's nice to know. You might sit on a plate because it will display it better for you. One minute, yes, one minute we've gone, so I'm going to put my microwave on high. For for two minutes, and that's the rice going now. Look before we devour it. 
uh, beef stir fry. Enjoy.